morning. So my knee feels like the most shit right now in the morning. I'm just getting so stiff and really sucks to walk on. Get some coffee, start some rehab, do some more BFR stuff. Been chatting all morning with uh, Derek Woodski. Uh, seems like an awesome fucking guy, previous thrower. Definitely someone I need to talk to more, run into it, summer strong, and uh, bash around his brain a little bit. Coffee. It's raining outside, it's fucking gross. Pups are bummed. It's not my favorite either. Coffee. Let's get it. Getting really excited for this coming week. I'm gonna go see Mark Bell, hang out there, podcast, see Kelly Sturette. <coughs> Busy dude. Bone stem? This thing uh, helps generate bone growth. That's cool, right? <laughs> Other than that, I don't feel like it does a whole fuckload. Doc says to run it, I'm gonna run it. I think the sooner this bit in my knee completely heals up, the less pain I'll be in. Total magic. I'm excited this coming week. I'm going to go see Mark Bell. Hang out there. Podcast. See Kelly Sturette. <coughs> Busy dude. change things up with today's rehab and I'm gonna head up to LSU go check out the new weight room talk to coach Moffitt see how his crew's doing and do my rehab there all right LSU weight room I'm gonna hammer away at some rehab I've got a chance to talk with the coaching staff far more angry music than I'm used to at home but uh change of scenery wildly nice big time motivation so these guys are uh, doing the right shit you don't get to stay on top especially the SEC for very long and doing bad stuff the new weight room is pretty incredible.
chance to train and do my rehab up at LSU with their strength staff and talk to Tommy is something I really, really should take more advantage of. Like being able to bounce ideas and hear what those guys are up to and, and listen to that is a big difference than the way I train here. There's, there's a lot of work that's got to go into like corralling and running a division one team through that type of facility. I mean, when you have a hundred kids that need to get workouts in in an hour, it's really impressive. And it's also been something, one of the reasons I've always looked up to Tommy Moffat as a strength coach was he always seems to want to stay on the cutting edge of what's happening. So it didn't surprise me at all when we started talking about occlusion and blood flow restriction that he was already using with some of his athletes to help them get back from surgery. And that's reassuring to me to know that like I'm doing some of the right stuff, that I'm talking to the right people. It's just really welcoming to get in that facility and see those young guys really fucking pushing each other, strength staff, and uh, see people fired up, man. That's, that's a big difference in how my garage is. And that type of environment is why those collegiate sports work the way they do. It's totally different than powerlifting. It's totally different than Olympic lifting. It is its own monster, and you've gotta efficiently get 100 athletes stronger and, and built for a sport. It's, it's always refreshing to see. It's always something that makes me remember why I love training and why these guys are into it and why I'm so lucky to have these open doors for me. And with all that said, like there's, like that level of strength coaching is a totally different market than your online internet coaches, your YouTubers, your any of this stuff. These guys are true professionals. Like. Not saying that the others aren't, but it's a different type of thing running a collegiate football team in a business that's as big as a, you know, a major Division I school. And there's a lot of different stakes on the line. You also have to train athletes differently. And so it was really great to get in and go see that difference again and kind of reminded me of something different, right? Just get out of my normal comfort zone and go see what some other folks are doing. Get inspired and get motivated again to keep pushing and going forward. Big shout out to Tommy Moffat and the rest of the LSU strength crew for uh, having me and letting me get in there and get in the fucking way. Those are really good dudes. I think I'll probably try to be around there a little bit more often. I always have a really good feeling after I go hang out with Tommy and uh, leave motivated. You gotta surround yourself with more people like that. You know, my, my time at LSU is something I rarely talk about. Like I don't really, it just feels like such a long time ago and such a different life ago. And track for me then it's just it's just really strange to to think of 11 years ago i'm glad that i still got some connections and and some network with some of the people that are still involved there and i get to stop by and feel welcome and that says a lot about the type of caliber people that tommy and that group are who run that weight room and that's why they're successful all right spread hate always party <laughs>